All right, it's time to get back on Slime Diaries. For people on YouTube, it's probably not going to make any sense because the upload schedule has been consistent there. But here, it's we've, we've taken like a three-month hiatus because of different scheduling of ReZero, Dangers in My Heart, all these different things. But hey, first episode performance was pretty decent. I do want to finish it. We're halfway through it. So episode seven, let's go. It's not as if we need to know anything plot-related because every episode is pretty much its own individual thing happening. Let's begin. Okay. Yep. This definitely happened, guys. This 100% happened where Rimuru was in the bunny suit and faced off against Gazelle, the king of Dorgon, and beat his heavenly slash, the heaven and earth slash, bro. Surprised they didn't put him in a bunny suit here, too. Mao Medium Nava has shown up. And we all surrender. Uh oh. False? Wait, 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 wait. You're rewriting history a bit too much right now. But it fell? It got grazed down to the ground? We're, we're all Millim's minions now. Millim diaries. Here comes the demon lord. She's here. What are those hands doing, Shion? Did this actually happen? Pupil. Best friends. That laugh. That's what she's dreaming? <laughs> the dream? Where does everyone go? Oh god! Oh god, not even in 10... Oh, <laughs> we can never get away from this fucking table, bro. Yes. Offload it to Rimuru. Holy shit, I forgot about Hakuro, bro. Like... S Slime Diaries Hakuro is just so, so weird with that mustache, man. <laughs> Benny just got a facial there, bro. I've never seen Rimuru being able to turn like this. Oh, is it from a simple push? I mean, it is one of the strongest beings in the verse. <laughs> I wonder what would happen with this slime. The one that Benny has before we went back to it. Would it become its own Rimuru? Yep. They like it actually. <laughs> Benny is so weird kind of contemplating. Hakuro and Shion are definitely down to become demon lords for the sake of just saying bullshit special names and popping off. Really? Milim is self-sustaining? She actually doesn't need to eat food? That's interesting. Mmm, raw ingredients. Yeah, it's just... Bro, the cooking is... We're not even cooking, bro. It's, it's straight up just fucking eating ingredients, bro. You just fucking chop some carrots up. Yeah. Even Benny agrees. I can't relate to Milan. For whatever reason, I hated carrots growing up. <gasps> True. True. <laughs> Benny wants to be a demon lord without eating vegetables. So it is possible. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Changing, changing his size. Hold up. Technical difficulty. Special shape card? Like a- for a child? Nothing changed. Except the shape and maybe the texture. Clearly a child, bro. 100% child behavior. <laughs> then he just eat it. <laughs> okay, you didn't have to open the door that hard. Oh, Ranga Milam. Important lore? Important lore regarding Ranga's ancestors? Or is she talking about her pet dragon in the past? I'm not sure, but... Remember the most recent episode with, you know, Milam taking Gopta and Ranga for training now? Like, this could be all foreshadowed back in the Slime Diaries? I don't know. Oh, that's the spot. That's the spot. <laughs> Yo, Ranga. That, that paw, the vein. I. There's no way they're alluding to something else here, right? That's crazy if they are. Like, showing the veins like this, like, this ain't even, like, an, a kid, like, this is not even a Snickers bar, bro. But you putting the veins on there? Come on, man. That's crazy. That, 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 that whole Ranga petting scene was crazy. That, that. The veins again, that, 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 that's insane, bro. Slime Diaries, I'm starting to remember more and more. Like the first six episodes, there was some unhinged fan services going on here and there. Jesus. Gopta. <laughs> Holy. Gopta just took a punch from one of the strongest beings in the universe and survived, bro. Bro, and this is Gopta and Milim training. This is her fu his future master too. <laughs> yeah, and she didn't even have the the dragon knuckles on, which nerfs her intentionally. Man, she she he took that hit directly. The <laughs> other one was my beloved choice. Honestly, I much prefer Milim in outfits like this rather than putting it in a fucking G string. <laughs> Some of them a bit more, like she owned. <laughs> a second one! Survive two punches. Yo. I mean, that outfit on Shion would look a lot better than on you. Except to a certain group of people. <laughs> Snacks. The amount of damage she's causing, man. <laughs> Another door busted. She, you need to be more careful with these things. Corn steam bumps. She ate five of those in like five seconds and passed out? Jesus, that's impressive. <sighs> she is so hospitable to Milim. Oh! Yo, Geld? And the little goblin kid that never shows up in the canon story but that shows up in, you know, Tansura Nikki. Remember the kid and Geld? Calamity class. Catastrophe. 
かにミリもちゃんとお話しすれば道理を通してくださる聡明さんを持ち合わせたお方です気、yeah. になれたのでしょうまあそう言えなくもないかな意外と物は<笑>無茶しかしなくて考えなしな子をずっと見てきたのでわかるんです実は私はミリム様のことを快く思っていないのです。たのまだ根に持ってるのか。もっと力があったなら。I mean, even with Master Chef now, which would the outcome be different? I don't think so. リムル様がミリム様の行いに頭をな。お前、そんなに俺。No, getting baited. We're getting baited right now. I feel like we're getting set up. お前、そんなに俺のことを困らせちゃう系女子はこの私だけですから。There it is. この立ち位置だけは譲れません。聞いてます。Ethan shock. Kicked out. <笑>入れてください。Oh, that's a lot of ass there, Jesus. Oh, oh my goodness. Good googly moogly. What's all that motion in the junk? ミムル様。<笑>お。Oh, wait, Gabiru, remember? Gabiru got fucked up by Milim in the canon story. Is it, is it gonna be now or is this after? <laughs> I think it's after. It's after. After, yeah. Yeah. Gabiru also survived the punch from Milim. Hey, that's another thing. Gopta survived two, Gabiru survived one. That is an achievement. <laughs> Yeah. How the hell are they using the shield to fucking reflect light off of light? <laughs> Virtuous nature, my ass, bro. Sweet musk? You smell that good? <laughs> yeah, because Dragon Newt and Milim, mid ray people, kind of the other type of Dragon Newts. Mmm. Yo, 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 not like that. Oh. Oh. Never. <laughs> Never. Yo, her eyes completely turned to one of that dragon right now. Shit. <laughs> 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 the hero Gabiru. Uh oh, during the festival. Uh oh. <laughs> and he's dead. Off screen. <laughs> <laughs> that was not even close. <laughs> Panicking, no wings. I can't see. And his statue. <laughs> oh, that landing. Wonder what Milim saw. Clayman's what? Gelden Milim? Oh, shit. It's his like atonement. He continues to build and suffer. Is the kid here? The goblin kid? <laughs> okay, I thought he was going to complete ghost her and walk away. <laughs> oh. This is what I got Okay. Come help me build. Dozo. Yo, Geld Milim seems. Could Milim possibly comprehend? Oh, the kid! This kid, man. I, I wish she showed up in the canon story, but like, she only exists in Slime Diaries for Geld. What's so up? I just realized Geld might have to do even more work because of Milim. Maybe? His face, his face though. All broken. 
ま、まあカタストロフにしては可愛らしい被害じゃこちらが昼過ぎの被害報告です。え、怒ってる ?A little bit? めっそうもん。いや It's not so. Seeing your face, I think you're really hiding it, man. この半壊二件、建国記念碑破損。So、that's what the statue was the commemorating founding statue, bro. And Gabiru just. Quant, quant. Another one? <laughs> His face just gets more and more intense, man. I'm definitely not mad. Dragons? Dragons? Huh. Alright. Torini's bar, snack bar sign. Medium is sleepy. Papa, Mao no Xeni. Go who sticks cut it on this year. Matter is called a mokayo. Pretty much. Called a mode in this year. She's old as fuck. Really? Do you need it? Can't you take a brace? Take to a kid. どうだけど今は君の名手だから自由の前に責任ってやつがあるんだでは責任を持って看板を直してくださいだポーズサインうわ責任よねああリベラさん頑張ってスナックジュラライフ<笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, Veldra and Ifrit! Okay, they're, they're witnessing Milim right now. Veldra is Milim's uncle, right? Foolish behavior? I think that just shows how much Milim trusts Jura Tempest and how comfortable she is to leave herself defenseless. Like, it's not that any could, anything could. Potentially even fucking hurt her here. Totally, dear. Oh, this place is being fooled by the Oranan. Now, I'm going to get my ass kicked. Dear. Jesus. You're just jealous. You're just jealous that your soulmate is carrying someone else right now. Ifrit, do it. I need Ifrit. Giving Veldra piggyback right now. Yeah, the tail wag. Mm. <laughs> That's it. All right. Yeah, it's fun here. So, yeah, it's to lose it. Mm. Like the backstory, remember how she lost everything. Better become strong to protect it then. Jesus Christ, Milim. <laughs> you will regret it. Everything you'll love for one day, it'll be stolen from you. Found Youth Invasion was kind of like that, not really. I'm kind of worried about the Tenma War though. Yeah, the modern development, civilization going up, building all this shit. The angels, man, what are they thinking? Post credit scene? It was fun having Milim here and just ruin everything. Jesus Christ, dude, that door busting sound effect is the same every time, same with the punches. It's always a jump scare. She got like that. I don't know if it's right to call this like Chinese hairstyle, but you know, that usually goes around with like the cheap power, right? <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> yeah, you fixed the fence far around the farm. Now you destroyed this door, though. <laughs> Okay. I hope she shows up next episode too. And that is another episode of Slime Diaries and just cute, funny Milam moments fucking up the village. Probably the most insane scene was this part, right? The Ranga, Milim, scratchy, scratchy, the veins showing up in his paw. That was insane. That, that's, that's, that's insane. Also the beginning, I guess, with the fucking bunny Rimuru. <laughs> like, what the hell? When did this shit happen? And history is being rewritten. And then, aside from that, I, I enjoyed, like, Milim interacting with other characters that you would never even think about, such as, like, Geld, right? It's interesting that how, in the most recent episode in the canon story, you know, Milim is taking Gopta and Ranga to training and, you know, Milim and interact with both. Gabiru as well, getting some uh, uh, credits. But, kind of sad part about how you're so scared about building everything. Like, like making these connections and bonds. Aren't you scared that you'll lose it one day? Kind of hinting at, like, Season 2 and her backstory. But, that's the thing about life, right? It's a double-edged sword. You can either fear in cowardness and refuse all these experiences life has to give you because you fear that you're gonna, you know, lose it. Or you can experience the highs and the lows of life and just go on with it. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content and until next time, take care.